Hello and welcome back to TopsWeb. In this video, we're going to discuss communication with our stakeholders. And we do that in the form of reports. We've already discussed on tasks how we can create a new log and keep our customers informed by using the checkboxes here, adding extra recipients, and this will provide them with an email. But oftentimes, we're going to need it just a little bit more. So what we do, we go to the View Project screen. If you're at a task, you just View Project. And up here at the top, you'll see Project List, Edit, Organize Task, and Reports. Click the Reports link. It's the only way to get to this particular screen, by the way. You can, at that point, select a project. If you have a whole list of projects, select a particular one. You can also do reports on all of your projects. This would be your internal reports. You can look at different reports that are available. Here's user performance and you can set a date range on just, a, I believe, on all of these. Hit submit. Gives you how many hours allocated, how many actually work percentage of work done based on duration and user efficiency. Let's go back. Here is your task list for here's some defaults that we can go by. So let's take a look at next day. Next week. previous week so it's good uh, deal. by the way here you have the make PDF I want to this is something that's a little odd it does not produce a PDF to your desktop it literally saves it into the temp folder on the server so you have to have access to the server it will create the PDFs for you by the way but you'll have to go and uh, download them from the server itself. It takes a little prior setup. Um, it's just easier if you have the capability to print to a PDF. It's a little, a little better to do it that way. Forewarning, I guess. So let's go back. The overall report. take a look at upcoming tasks See, that's kind of nice just jumps straight into PDF however back out of that um, completed same kind of thing we've completed any task yet I guess Task sorted by user and submit. And that's just a quick little deal there with each person and then break down to their tasks. All right, project statistics. Project statistics gives you task assignee, um, kind of just more of a med KPI kind of metrics. Um, and a good report here is the overdue, gives you what's past due, kind of a little printout. And then, of course, the task log. Right here gives you the cost code that's been used, the number of hours per that code. There is um, a module that you can download 
uh, one that I used, I thought it was part of the original here, it's called uh, uh, for invoicing and it'll give you a task log with valued and it'll give you a calculated whatever value times the hours used so you can use that as your uh, part of your invoice and again that's a, an external mod that you would have to add but that is reports and uh, it's a good way to keep uh, communication with your stakeholders let you know you're on track or let you uh, know let let your stakeholders know that there's no surprises coming so and that is uh, reports thank you Thank you.